Good morning, this is Jason Sen from DayTradeIdeas.com. It is the 13th of November. Uh, we're looking at a weekly chart of the Japanese yen, uh, dollar yen. We've been following this uh, so far this week and uh, just pointing out here how we've broken above the weekly trend line which goes back to the 20th of uh, or the end of May at least. So it's quite a significant breakout this week. Uh, however, in the slightly shorter term, uh, it's not quite so positive. Uh, this is the daily chart I've just flicked over to um, from the weekly chart. And you can see that we're just hitting another trend line which goes back to the 8th of July. Uh, that also coincides with Fibonacci resistance. So we hit that yesterday around the 99.75 level. We topped out just above around 99.79, I think the high was, yeah. Uh, and as expected, we've eased off a little bit. We're not expecting not expecting a big sell-off, just uh, an easing perhaps over the next few days. We're getting a little bit overbought on the um, daily chart. Not enough to uh, to get negative, but um, but we've just got to be a little bit careful. There is a chance of at least some profit taking, put it that way. And we could even get down as low as the sort of 99, 10, 99, 00 area. Uh, shorter term, we'll just have a look at the four hour chart to give us an idea of what could happen over the next couple of days. Uh, as you see, we topped out yesterday at 99.79, pretty much as expected. There's a bit of a trend line there, which we're just hovering below now. So um, we're using some Fibonacci's and some trend lines to see where we could get to on the downside. 99.30, 99.25 looks like a realistic target for today. Be surprised to see it any lower. But um, if we do get down as far as 99, sort of 15, 99.10 area, I would expect to see a decent bounce from there today at least. You can see we got a bit overdone on the um, stochastics on the four hour chart and even the MACDs crossing so it's starting to look a little bit more negative on the in the very very short term so as I said wouldn't be surprised to see it in the low 9900 area but uh, not expecting a big collapse if we do get as far as 19870 perhaps later in the week that's probably going to be a nice buying opportunity but uh, we'll keep an eye on that as we go through the week. Thanks very much I'm Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com